So let's compare three LED replacement options for the 1000 watt equivalent. And when I say 1000 watt, I mean like the metal halide, HBS, the HID lighting, any of those can be replaced by LED fixtures. And we actually have three different options. And I, I like to call it the bright, the brighter and the brightest. Um, and at the end of this video, I'll tell you which one of these is our top seller fixture as well. Let's jump into it. So first off, the lumens. And so the bright fixture is 45,000 lumens, which is 300 watts. The brighter fixture is 72,000 lumens, which is 450 watts. And the brightest fixture that we have is 96,000 lumens. And that one's 600 watts. This is the brightest single lens, single driver fixture that you're gonna find on the market. So a lot of companies, what they're doing is they're inside of that driver box, they're actually putting two or three drivers to be able to reach even 70,000 or 80,000 lumens. Some companies, what they're doing is they're taking two of these fixtures and they're using a bracket to attach it together. And then they're calling it you know, a hundred thousand lumen fixture, but this is the only true like single lens, single driver fixture that's able to achieve these levels of brightness. And you're also going to see like the weight and some of the other things that are benefits to just having a single lens and a single driver in the fixture. All right. The second thing, let's talk about mounting height. The bright fixture can be mounted at 60 feet and we did a lighting layout. And even at 60 feet, it's putting off 60 foot candles. The brighter fixture can be mounted at 80 feet and still puts off 86 foot candles and the brightest fixture can be mounted at 100 feet and that has a reading of 105 foot candles. So this is just kind of what we suggest is that this would be mounted at 60 feet, the brighter fixture at 80 feet and the brightest at 100 feet. But we've seen even up to 130 feet and you can get away with even putting the bright fixture at 80 feet. You might have a little bit less lumens, but some people are happy with that. Typically with a thousand watt metal halide or HBS or HID light, you're going to be getting drastically less depending on the mounting height. So when we do audits in industrial facilities and we measure the lighting levels underneath the thousand watt high base, depending on the ceiling height, we're getting a lot of times we're getting foot candle readings like 15 foot candles. Sometimes if you go even higher, like if you're at, let's say uh, 80 feet, we're getting readings of less than five foot candles. So it's very, very dark in these buildings. And that's just because the old technology doesn't direct the lumens and it can't get the lumen down to the working plane. So when you look at these, these foot candle readings, it's unbelievable how bright it can be even mounted at that height. 60 foot candles all the way up to 100 foot candles that we can get with our fixtures, it's going to be like 10 times brighter than what you're used to in your facility. And here's the cool thing. Let's talk fixture weight. On a typical thousand watt fixture, you're going to be at least 60 pounds. And our fixtures start off, the bright fixture is only 18 pounds. And then the brighter fixture is 29 pounds. And then 32 pounds for the brightest fixtures. 96,000 lumen fixture is only 32 pounds, which is almost half of what you're used to. And, and that just like, it makes it so much easier to install and maintain. It's not as bulky as the other fixtures. And then way down the road, when you go to, you know, doing ongoing maintenance to these fixtures, it's just a lot easier easier to work with. All right, so let's talk voltage. So all three of these fixtures have three different voltage options. When you go to order them, you can order them either as low volt, high volt, or super high volt. So low volt is like 100 to 277 VAC range. Also that low volt driver has a built-in 250 VDC, which is common on like overhead cranes. Your high volt is the 277 to 480 volt. So like whether you have 277 voltage or 347 or 480, that high volt driver was built for those ranges. And then the super high volt is 600 volts. And we actually have do a lot of these old industrial buildings have 600 volts. And so this fixture has that option as well. Now I will mention that with the high volt and the super high volt, those drivers are direct input drivers. So there's no additional, you know, like step down transformer. There's no bulky add on to the fixture. Now, when you look at other LEDs that are on the market, when they say that, hey, we offer high volt, a lot of times what they're doing is they're including an additional step down transformer or some bulky add on to the fixture. And so if you look closely at the specs, the fixture weight on the high volt fixtures, a lot of times is going to be like 70 pounds all the way up to 90 pounds. You're like, how is that possible? That's because they're taking the fixture and they're making these add ons and putting transformers on them. So our fixtures, the driver is direct input, which means that the weight of the fixture doesn't change. So even the high volt fixture, the super high volt fixture is still going to be right around the 18 pounds all the way up to 32 pounds is like the max. So we're two to three times less, way easier to work with and install and maintain. 
And now here's the part numbers. I'll tell you which one of our fixtures is the top seller. So we have our BEC HB 300 watt. That's the bright fixture. And then we have the uh, BE SL2 450 watt. That's the brighter fixture. And then the brightest is the BE HB 17 600 watt. Our top selling fixture is actually the bright fixture. It's the BEC HB 300 watt. The reason why is it's super lightweight, easy to install, but it's also very economical. Like the price point gives you really, really fast ROI. It's, it's pretty cheap to ship because it's so light and it's just a good one for one replacement for all of those thousand watt fixtures that you find at your mill. We're finding though that the sales are increasing on the other ones when people just want something brighter and they're like, you know, we've been working in the dark at these mills for decades and we just want something brighter. And so they're stepping up to the brighter and the brightest. Now, the other part here is that when it comes to like mounting height, so 60 foot is kind of like that magic number. If you have 60 foot or less, you can get away with the 45,000 lumen fixture. But if you start getting up to 80 feet or 100 feet or 130 foot mounting heights, then you're definitely going to want to step up to the 72,000 or the 96,000 lumen fixture because then it's going to give you a lot more light to the ground. And then we've also seen a lot. These are one fixture does it all. You can mount these fixtures outdoor on high masts. If you have like a 100 foot hole with like 10 lights on it, the brighter or the brightest fixture is really good for those as well. Reach out to us and uh, we're happy to get you some quotes on these fixtures.